Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back to our YouTube channel here, Van Waters Labradors. You can also see, if you just stumbled by these videos, you can see availability of puppies uh, when we have it uh, via Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Van Waters Labradors, Facebook. And you can see all that there. For many of you who are asking, uh, where's my website and where did it go? Well, we took the website down due to COVID traffic. Uh, <clears throat> I seriously, uh, I do not exaggerate when I say this. Uh, during the, the peak of COVID, I literally felt like I was a, tog a Target or a Walmart. I got so many phone calls, uh, it was insane. So we took the website down. So those of you that are looking for my website saying where did it go are you still there yes we're still here uh but we just took down the website we are going to rebuild the website uh it might be in uh next year before it gets reposted um but uh yeah so anyway wanted to throw that out there okay today as you can tell we're down at the lake this is our training lake we come down here all the time it's uh very well designed for what we do down at this end uh, you will see how this gradually goes in. You can see how clear the water is. I wanted to do this video before we really got started and muddied up the water, but you can see how clear it is. There's a little fishies right there, some bluegill. I don't know if you all can see that or not. There's like, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five of them. So anyway, uh, yeah, nice and clean. But this is the gradual part, okay? More or less uh, designed for the beach type of thing. So. We've got this design, it's very, this is the narrow part here, so we can shoot dogs over there if we had to uh, in a hunting situation. And it's got two different sections of, of the elongated part. And then we got this here, which we can run the dogs in for like searching. And this is like more or less for like a rescue, uh, search and rescue dogs uh, or hunting dogs. We can teach them to go in there and look for specific items, okay? Uh, for a hunting situation, it would obviously be birds. Uh, you can, you know, hide your remote control in there if you wanted to and teach your dog to go get your remote control. Not that your remote control would be outside in the woods or anything, but you know, if you just happen to stumble out there and it was in your back pocket and forgot. <laughs> anyway, I am down here with Mr. Bruno. Mr. Bruno is a chocolate male. Uh, we got him yesterday and you guys are going to be floored uh, with how far we got in two days or actually a day and a half, what I would say. Uh, started down here this morning about five o'clock. Well, I take that back. We started at the house at five o'clock, got down here about 6.15. He is raring to go. And uh, got down here about 6.15. <clears throat> and uh, with all the work that <clears throat> we did yesterday, excuse my throat, all of a sudden I just got hoarse <clears throat> and dry. But uh, yesterday, uh, with all the work we did there, brought it down here. We did some work uh, this, um, this morning down here and then we went back gave him a break because he swam like crazy and you'll see what i'm talking about this guy is a swimming machine and uh so we did that he got tired we went back to the house gave him a break did some more training with them um at the house and did some retrieving work some more obedience work and different things like that and now we're back down here again i want to show you guys this okay this guy is this you know he's not perfect by all means but um he's really come far since i got him so what we're doing is we're working on retrieving in the water, returning to us and holding him in position because the family is going to hunt Bruno down the road for waterfowl. And so that's what we're working on there, okay? So let me get him out. I'm gonna show you guys this. He's gonna go right in the water, I guarantee, because it is blazing hot out here. Here's Mr. Bruno. He's a chocolate lab. He loves the water. He never gives me time to take off his leash. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> look how well he swims. He just is a swimming machine. Of course, he drinks as he swims. So what we're going to do is basically is this. I'm going to bring him back out here. And then what I want him to do is I'm going to hold him. Uh, hopefully, I can do this while I'm holding the camera. Hold him still. Throw the bird in a back cast and then send him out. Okay? So this is my dummy. I am using a dummy. This is not a real bird. For those of you that uh, are sensitive to that, I hope that's the right way of saying that. Um, I guess sensitive or um, 
yeah, we'll just go with that. Uh, when I do use live birds or frozen birds, I will make a disclaimer. Or I will tell you that we're going to do it before I show you. Okay, so anytime you see this, this is a just a dummy. It's fake, okay? So when you see them carrying that out in the water, it's not real. So I know some people got a little upset by seeing this out in the water. Well, it's, it's not real. It's, once, they, once they saw that it wasn't real, they're like, oh, that's no big deal. So anyways, it's not real. If we do use real birds, I will make a disclaimer and let you know that so that, you know, uh, there's things that I can't handle either. So uh, when I see them on videos on YouTube or Facebook and something's happening and it bothers me or I can't handle that, uh, it would be, I would like to know before it's on there, you know, so I won't go into all that, but you, you, get, you get what I'm saying. So I like to respect other people uh, as much as I possibly can if I know it. So uh, I like to help. So <laughs> there he is way out yonder. Uh, he loves to swim, guys. This dog loves to swim. All right. So now a couple things I want to make mention here. This video might be a little lengthy, but that's okay. We might do two parts of this. I might record all of it and then just split out two different videos. That might be what we do because this is going to get long. I have a feeling you're going to notice that he's swimming with a leash on. Okay. Um, I worked with him enough already in the past day and a half to know he can handle a short leash being on him swimming with it. It doesn't bother him. It actually floats on the top side of the water. Just a second, I'm gonna recall him here. Bruno! <whistles> Come on, Bruno! Anyway, uh, so he can handle that. The leash stays up to the top side of the water. There he is. Come on, Bruno! The re come on, Bruno, come, 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 come! The reason I use the leash is because I've gotta hold him here, okay? He's not used to holding, and I've gotta hold him here. Otherwise, in a hunting situation, he would go, and uh, it'd be very hard for him to uh, to stay still. I mean, there's no way. So, the the with his training, that what we're doing is is with you know hunting in mind. So I've got to do this with this situation. Um, it's not. This is not a pet situation training. So some of this is, but most of it's geared towards hunting. Okay. So the worst thing to have happen is when you get a, a group of, of birds coming in and then the dog hears a shot and then they bust. And then next thing you know, you've got six or seven gals and guys shooting and you're dropping birds out here in the water and then you got a dog busting and you got another group out here circling around and then you flare them. And there's uh, it just makes a lot of people uh, upset and rightfully so. So anyway, we're gonna get him here. Um, you know, now that I just thought about this, what we might do, because I, uh, we gotta take that prong collar off of him, what we might do is just hold him by his collar and then throw the bird. So you might see the camera get switched around a lot, but at least you'll be able to see him retrieve and, and so forth. Bruno, come here, buddy. The other thing is his recall is not very good either. So we've gotta work on his recall. Uh, that's why I have a leash on him too. But um, I think it actually would be best, and I think we could do this without the prong collar and, because the prong collar, I'm using that because uh, as far as the basic obedience, he pulls really bad, like really, really, really bad. Uh, we worked with him for several hours yesterday and that's under control, but only when he has the prong collar on. Uh, the family stated that they've used all different styles of training methods, uh, did not work. They've tried, uh, yeah, they tried a lot, did not work. Uh, I put a prong collar on him, worked with him for two hours and under control. So. Um, let me get him out. Come here, Bruno. Come here, buddy. Right here. Hey. Go get that. Go get that. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Uh, hold on with me, folks. This might be a little rocky as I take this prong collar and leash off of him. So I'm going to set the phone down just one second. Hey, buddy. Good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that makes me feel a little bit better. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold him. <laughs> I'm going to throw that back and then I'm going to hold him and I tell him, normally what I would do is tell him to mark back, he gone. <laughs> so uh, let me explain what I did. I threw, I was trying to say back with the bird, like I'm telling you that I was throwing the bird back, okay? That came out a little louder than I wanted it to because when I said back, I was in my mind, I was trying to say stay and hold him, but when he, he was pulling me with my left hand, anyway. Uh, so that's it sounded it, it it sounded wrong because it was wrong. Okay, so don't do it <laughs> blooper 
don't do what I just did. Uh, stay back when you throw something. That's not what we want to do. We want to hold him and tell him to mark. Okay, so he learns to mark and then send him back on a fetch. Okay, so <laughs> I messed up. Uh, yeah, okay, no big deal. Okay, so now I'm just going to tell everybody on this too is he doesn't do a very good job with bringing it back. I'm not concerned about that, okay? So he dropped it down here, here it is. Um, he's not very good at that, but I'm not worried about that right now. I've got to get him retrieving in the water. That's the main That's the main focus with the family is that we want to retrieve in the water. We want to retrieve in the water. So we're going to get him retrieving in the water. And then once he gets it back to land, then we'll work on him bringing it to hand. Okay, or to dry, hey, hey, right here, buddy, right here. Hey, come here. Okay, so, <coughs> yeah, we, you can tell he's a, he's, he's, he, he loves, he loves this, okay? Bear with me with the camera again, because I'm gonna have to, I gotta grab a hold of him, come here, big guy. So, what I'm doing, right here. Okay, I'm gonna try to hold him with my pinky, hold the phone with my thumb and index. If I can do this, okay, Mark. Uh-uh, uh-uh, stay, 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 back. <laughs> this guy is incredible. Like, I'm not saying this, guys, just because this is my dog. I mean, this ain't my personal dog, but like, I bred this dog, okay? I'm not saying this just because he's my dog. This dog is insanely smart. Like, I'm not joking, folks. This guy is crazy smart. Everything I teach him, it literally, like, it's within an hour or two, and it's a done deal. I mean, he is so smart. Okay, come on. Bruno, Bruno, hey, hey. Like I said, his recall is horrible. Come on, Bruno, but he still has the bird in his mouth. Come on, big guy, come on. Yee, yee, yee. I gotta sound stupid so he's like, oh, I can play with you down there, okay. Okay, so, that's kind of where we're at right now, okay. I wanna do it one more time so that you guys can see it, but this time, I'm just gonna throw it in there really far and then let you see him go, okay. I'm not gonna hold him back. But at the house, what we've been doing, fetch, 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 is what we do is we throw it in the grass, I hold him because I'm not videoing and I can do both things at once. I let him go and then I, I, or I tell him to mark, so I, I'll throw the dummy out there. As I'm throwing it, I tell him to mark. I hold him in a sit, stay position, and then I send him back in a back cast, okay? When you're doing a back cast, don't throw it to your left and right and say back because that's not what that means, okay? So at a back cast, you can send it straight out. Again, this is simple, uh, very basic stuff, okay? You, if you want to, you can actually keep him in heel position, sit, stay, and then use his name as Bruno, or use your dog's name as a release to release him go to go straight back you can say fetch or fetch it up a lot of guys will say fetch it up um, or fetch okay there's all different things you do it really doesn't matter now if you're a diehard hunter hardcore you might want to get a little bit more technical with stuff because you can confuse the dog if you don't but this is mainly a pet but he is going to hunt him and most of my families are that way except for a handful um or actually more than a handful is probably good good couple dozen but uh my point is is that you gotta you know train the dog for what you're going to use them for um you know and 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 different things like that so bruno's mainly a pet but in this situation we're training for hunting now i gotta go find my decoy not my decoy my dummy fetch 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 that's a good boy bruno good boy good boy now i'm just gonna kind of tell you what's going on going on here um so if you ever have this happen to you with your dog, you don't want it to turn into a game, okay? So if you, I don't know if you saw that or not, but that decoy, that dummy was sitting right there and he came up there and got it. When I told him to fetch, he grabbed it. And if you notice, he swam away from me, okay? Come on, Bruno. This is becoming a game to him. Okay, so if you guys are out there playing with your dog and he got the toy and you're trying to get it, or he has the toy, let me say that right. If he has the toy, okay? and you go to try to grab him and the toy, and he takes off from you, your, your first instinct is to go after him or to chase him, 
Okay, that's a big mistake. Because in his in his world, you just told him that you're playing keep away, okay? And hey, buddy, what you doing? What you doing, bud? Come on, come on, Bruno. Come on, Bruno. He's trying to hide in the shade and, and stay in the water at the same time. <laughs> he wants the best of both worlds. Come on, Bruno. That's a good boy, buddy. That's a good boy. Hey, I can't throw it back out if you don't give it to me. Here, 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 here. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. Here, here, here. Okay, so you can see his recall is horrible, like I previously stated. And we're gonna work on that. So I've got him for about seven days, seven and a half days. We made a lot of progress already with just him in the water and retrieving in the water. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. You're questioning, your question is probably like, well, how do you get your toy back? Or how do you get him to come back to you? There's a couple things you could do. You can use treats. Uh, I don't use their treats, I use their food. Bruno, Bruno, Bruno. And what I usually do is use a different toy to get their distraction uh, or their attention in this case, okay? Because what he's doing is he's migrating out further and further and he's using his nose to navigate, okay? <clears throat> and he wants to keep navigating and navigating and whatever. If I don't recall him in and I just let him go, what he eventually will do is work himself around this entire lake once he learns how to navigate around it. Hey, hey! So, hey Bruno, right here big guy, come on. Where'd you put my, where'd you put, oh there's my, okay, okay, we're, we're, oh, we're gonna make some real good progress right here. Okay, so he dropped my dummy right here on the ground. So again, like I said, I'm not concerned yet. I better hurry before he stinks up behind me. <laughs> I'm not worried too much. Bruno, Bruno, ready, ready, ready? 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 <laughs> hey, 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 right here. Right here, Bruno. Bruno, ready? <laughs> so, like I, <laughs> that dog cracks me up. Like I said, I'm not too concerned about him bringing it back to me in my hand yet. We'll get to that point. My main thing is him swimming in the water to retreat. Look how far that is, guys. He is way out there. Good boy. Good boy, Bruno. <laughs> oh my. Anyway, so we'll get him retrieving in the water, get going out there to get the dummy, bring it back to land. Once he drops it, I keep doing it over and over and over and over. He loves to swim and he loves to retrieve. So the more I get him to bring the, it to me and the more he gets to go out, he'll learn and connect the dots. He'll say, Wait a minute, every time I bring it back to him, then he'll throw it out and I get to go get it again. So he'll connect that dots. But if you go chasing after him, then he'll be like, oh, I get to go swim, you know, and play, and play keep away at the same time. Hey buddy, good boy, Bruno. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. See how he brought it here now? Let me back that out so you can see what's going on. Okay, Bruno, Bruno, right here. Hey, come here. Come on. I need you out of the water so you can mark this. Come on, Bruno. There you go, ready? Mark, mark, mark. I, I think he was in the water before the, before the dummy hit the water. I can't see my screen. Hopefully you guys can see where he's at. I try to zoom in on it. <laughs> he's almost there. Guys, that's like, that's like a 45 to 50 yard that might be 50 yard swim right there. 50 yard swim, 50 yard retrieve. So, I mean, that's out there. Come on, Bruno. <laughs> Come on, Bruno. Over here, buddy. <laughs> oh man. There's nothing more rewarding, nothing more rewarding to work with the dog, train the dog, you work with it several, several hours, then you come out here and then you see all your work just come together really fast. Uh, you got a super smart dog and all of a sudden, bam, there it is. Hey, Bruno, Bruno, Bruno. Hey, hey, where'd you go? There you are. Good boy. Out. Now, you see how quick he's bringing that back to me? Because <coughs> I just got covered in water. Because he learns that if he brings it back to me right here, hey, 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 back. He learns if he brings it back to me, he gets to go do what he wants to do and he's learning that, okay? 
<laughs> That's even further out this time. He would be better off to go to the other side and then run around. Oh, he's gonna be tired, poor guy. Well, I actually, I'm actually a little jealous. Man, he, <laughs> he jumped up at me to get that dummy in my hands and splattered mud, or not mud, water all in my face. Good boy! <laughs> Over here, see how he looked at me when I whistled? Come on, Bruno. Hopefully that's not too loud for you guys. Sorry if it is, apologize. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up on this video. Hopefully you guys can enjoy that. Uh, really like that. Uh, and can learn something from it and uh, and whatnot. We'll, we'll see you guys on the next video. Please subscribe to the channel. Would really appreciate it. Uh, like the video, share the video. Uh, guys, they're free. You guys can take my methods. They do work. Uh, come here, Bruno, Bruno. Is it the only method? No. Uh, but does it work? Absolutely. Bruno, there you are, big guy. There you are. There you are. Now, I'm going to see what he does here real quick. Are you tired, big guy? That was some That was some pretty good swimming right there, big guy. Hey, 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 right here, right here. Fetch, fetch, fetch. Hey, hey, here, here. Bruno, Bruno. Well, let's see if I can get him to come. Come here, Bruno. Hey, where's, hey, fetch, 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 fetch. You gotta fetch it up, buddy. You gotta fetch it up. Fetch, fetch, fetch. Fetch, fetch, fetch. There you go, good boy. If he drops it, I'm gonna go get it this time. Okay, I'm gonna sneak over there and grab it. Like I said, I'm not too concerned about him. Bringing it back yet. All right, well guys, we'll see you on the next one.